The Mishnah tells us that Avera shall be another Machavero between man and man. Ein Yom Kippur in Machaper Yom Kippur will not provide atonement for Achi Yoratze es Chavero. Until you beg forgiveness. Not only that, even if the person is no longer alive, one has to go to the grave site and beg forgiveness. God can forgive you for the worst things. But not for the things you do to others. They're the ones that have to forgive you. Why can't God forgive you? Come on, some kipper. He's offering forgiveness for, for, for everything. You hurt someone else. That's so much worse than them. All kinds of other terrible, terrible sins. We've got to appreciate the greatness of the human being, the stature of the human being. <coughs> it's not because the sin is more severe. It's in a different realm. A human being Selam Elohim were created in his image. The human mind, the human heart. He is an entity unto his own unto himself. It's up to him to forgive. God can't do it for him. <coughs> you see, especially on Yom Kippur, Especially on Yom Kippur, we have to get this message through to ourselves. Yom Kippur is the day, the day that we have to go and think about how great we can be. Confessing sins means we can do better. And it's expected of us to do better because we're great. There's no limit to what a human being can become. Ultimately, ultimately, what's expected of us is to grow and grow and grow. Sure, it's a process, it takes a long time.
But what the Torah demands of us is, is perfection. On all fronts, absolutely every aspect of life. And when we recognize our shortcomings, we understand more is expected of us. And we can get there. And we will get there. And we better plan how we're going to get there. On the day that we recognize we're confessing the fact that we didn't live up to our potential because we can be perfect. That's the day we have to appreciate every other human being. Every human being is almost God. And hurting him <coughs> is sitting against him. And it's for him to forgive. Yes, him. So Yom Kippur is definitely a day to focus on our own potential. Make sure that we're not complacent with where we are but understand we can do so much better. Have expectations of ourselves. Recognize where we fall short and where we have to get to. And where we have to get to is greatness because we're human, created in his image. But don't just stop there. So is everybody else. Respect your fellow Jew. As someone so big. But he's not there yet. But he's got everything it takes. He's got everything it takes. You know, halacha makes it very uncomfortable to hurt another person because you know ultimately you're going to have to live up to it. You're going to have to own what you did to him. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to ask for forgiveness. To recognize, recognize what a human being is. Because that's what Yom Kippur is about. This is the one day a year the Kohen Gadol walks into the Holy of Holies. They are alone with Hashem. Brings him an offering of Taurus, of incense. And comes in another three times. If this Kohen Gadol wasn't someone really great, he wouldn't survive. This is the greatness, the greatness that one can attain to be all the way up there. But it's not just about ourselves. It's recognizing the greatness in every other Jew. Everyone's got an neshama that is godly. And everyone has a mind 
that's capable of understanding the finest, most subtle, abstract concepts, that's capable of finding truth, and a heart that can provide the passion allowing one to do anything, including the impossible. That's what every, every one of us is. How do you hurt another? Tzelem Elohim. And if you did, you need his forgiveness. With regard to that sin, he is God. It's for him to forgive. So it's not just that we don't have the right to hurt one another, because all men are equal. We don't hurt one another because all men are great. Great is too small a word. Every, every Jew is godly. Yeah, we struggle, we're mixed up, but we've got the neshama, we've got the heart, we've got the brain. And we can get there. No, it's not that we respect one another because we have to respect what you believe in or something like that. We respect one another because we see greatness. We see potential for something, something so big. In your tshuva, see yourself as big. Plan your road to greatness and simultaneously grow your own respect for everyone else. Don't hurt them and see what you can do to help. Yom Kippur is about human greatness. And that doesn't just mean ourselves. It means one another as well. We should all have a Gemar Chassim Tova. We should all plan and get this siyata de shmaya to attain our own greatness and root for one another's greatness. See the potential in ourselves and the potential for everyone around us. And treat one another accordingly. Respecting everyone around us as a tselem elokim for real. <laughs>